What's going on guys, it's Jono, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can scrape thousands of websites on Google My Business in just a few minutes. If you wanna collect emails, phone numbers, Instagrams, Facebooks, all of that kind of stuff, just you know, without even having to think about it, right? Not having to do the data entry yourself, just having automation take care of it, we're gonna be covering that today. So let's dive into it. So let's say that you're on Google and you wanna capture landscapers in New York, right? So what you could do is you could go into uh, the GMB listing and you create a Google Sheet, right, with all of these different landscapers, but that's gonna take you a freaking ton of time, right, and that's not a good use of your time either. So what you can do, and I'm gonna share with you this in probably like a, a few minutes, right, maybe five, six minutes, um, you can go to the, the application appify.com. Now this is a, a, you know, a low to no code tool. What I'm gonna be sharing with you today, you do not need to know a lick of code. You can do this completely by yourself without knowing anything. So when you log in, you can get started for free. You can go to the console and we're gonna be using two actors. Now actors are essentially just scripts, right? So it's all software scripts, but we're gonna be using low or no code software scripts so you don't have to know anything. So in the store, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Google Maps, we're gonna search for that, and we're gonna be using the combination of Google Maps, Maps Scraper and Google Maps Email Extractor. So if you go into the first actor, is what it's called, once again, it's just gonna process the information how you want it to be processed. Um, you can have a regular or a Java, uh, JSON view, we're just gonna click on regular here, and we're gonna go landscapers, and we're gonna do New York, uh, United States and we're just for this demo we're going to limit it to five search results but you could do like 500 you could grab every single landscaper in the city of New York right but just for this purpose we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose five and you can you know add in additional information but for the purpose of this tutorial that's not necessary and you click save and run and you can do this in the background, right? You don't have to be active here. You can just have this run and you can go about your daily life. You can, you know, do whatever, you know, other tasks you have in mind. This can be uh, done asynchronously, right? So just in the background as you wait. Now, what's gonna happen here is it's just gonna do everything that you would have done manually um, by just scraping all these results for you <laughs> and then compiling it into a list for you to use at a later point in time. Okay, so we're nearing the end. We have our first three results. You can see all the information that's scraping from Google Maps, the name of the business, right? The total score, the review count, the street, city, state, country. Not all of these are gonna be filled in, right? So it's not gonna have a complete amount of data on every single business uh, as to be expected. This is just because the business owners that have these GMBs or Google My Business listings didn't include all of this information. Okay, awesome. So we have the phone numbers, but the problem is with these, um, we don't have emails, right? And if you wanna add this into like a, a cold, email uh, software and mass email people, you need the emails as well. So what we can do is we can, um, we can export the results here and we're gonna grab this uh, data set key here, right? We're gonna copy this, the clipboard, we're gonna go over here. And all we're gonna do to get the emails, the Google Maps email extractor, we're gonna be using the second actor, which once again is just a, you know, a no code script that you can run without knowing anything about coding. Um, <laughs> and you just, go ahead and paste the uh, uh, data set ID, which we just copied from here, right? Right into this data set ID. And then we start running here and it's going to copy all of the information that we received here, right? So all of the, uh, the business names, the websites, the total scores and the phone numbers, it's just gonna enrich the data so that now you have things like uh, the email, you have things like the Instagram page, the Facebook page, so you can, you know, um, essentially send these people messages via email, Instagram, Facebook, you can call them, do whatever you want uh, for your cold email outreach purposes. Okay, perfect, so now the second actor is completed and we have all of the data here. You can go ahead and take a look and see that not all of the contact details were found, um, only a couple of them had it. So in this instance, for this business, NY Green LLC Artificial Turf, they don't have uh, an email. But for this next business, uh, I'm not even gonna pretend 
to uh, pronounce that, <laughs> uh, they have five fields, right? So they have the email, they have the phone number, they have the LinkedIn page, they have the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll just export this and you can turn that into a, a CSV file here. So we'll go ahead and export that. And we'll take a look at that data in Excel, Microsoft Excel. Awesome. So we can just export all of that data. You can do this for hundreds or thousands of different businesses. You can pull in all of the relevant information, the phone numbers, the email. We'll just grab the email there, the phone, right? So it's, oops, can't find that. So we'll go again and we'll do phone, right? It's all going to be there. Obviously, it doesn't work for every single GMB listing. The reason why the emails don't work or maybe the LinkedIn doesn't work, the, the Facebook uh, link doesn't work is because how it works is it'll actually go to the website and it'll go through pages, right? And it'll, it'll scan every single link on a website until it goes through enough pages to hopefully find the emails, the Facebook links, the, the Instagram links. And if it's there, great, it'll add it to this CSV file. And if it's not anywhere to be found on the website, it's not going to be available for you to download into that CSV file. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, then please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye-bye.